Well, greetings to you fine sirs and ma'ams and misses and boys and girls. Welcome back to the homestead. In this video, we're gonna talk about soil testing. So in Arkansas, we have the University of Arkansas um, Division of Agriculture does provide soil testing for our um, garden beds, as well as our, our um, agricultural fields, prairies, that sort of thing. So we're gonna utilize this system and get them to do a comprehensive test on both of our uh, fields. So we're gonna go ahead and follow the instructions, dig up some samples, create an average, and then package these together. Okay, so how we're gonna be doing this, we want one test kit per 20 acres is what they say. Collect soil samples within the field from different textures, colors, topography, wherever the crop growth and crop history would be. Collect 25 or more soil cores from each sample area in a zigzag pattern, mixing thoroughly. Completely fill the sample box with subsample of soil. And then we, they recommend a sample depth of six inches for small fruit, gardens, cotton, corn, four inches for all roll crops, uh, forages, turf, and pastures. So these are pretty much four inches that we're gonna be needing here. If we are going to do um, the fruit trees, we would have to do six inches. So what are we gonna use to do this? We're gonna use the Corona, <laughs> Piranha, Anna. Karana um, soil digger upper, the technical term. Uh, it does have a plunger in it, which is what I like. So if they are really a, a muddy sample, we can we can um, get that out of there. This cleans up by itself very very quickly. Um, this is my go-to tool for a lot of um, samples like this when you're looking for different places to put gardens. Uh, they also make the core sampler, um, things that you can push down with your hand or your feet to get samples that way. And then we're just gonna put them in the wheelbarrow and, uh, and go that route. Okay, so we're gonna do a zigzag pattern. We'll grab the wheelbarrow. Um, probably going to start, I'll just start right in front of you here. So, We'll start right in the corner. Down about four inches. Hey, we found a worm. So weak. When I had the shovel, I might have nicked them. And that's kind of why a lot of the times when we're tilling the soil, we don't want to till real deep. And I try to till when the worms won't be at the surface, if possible. Now, uh, we have to worry about compaction also. So I got a broad fork for when we make the rows, we'll use the broad fork to, you know, do that. But if you don't find worms in your soil, there's a good chance that it's dead soil. So the worms are gonna be a good indicator of a, of a living soil. I shouldn't be touching this with my hand, actually. I'm gonna go grab a shovel or a little trowel. The oils on my hands could affect the sample. All right, so I got the shovel. I'm gonna take different samples and discard those other samples because, oops, my hand touched the soil, which could throw off the test. Another worm, awesome. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get the trailer ready for putting on some boards. We're gonna pick up some compost 
and also some brush and we want to have a trailer with sides on it. So we're gonna take this caravan trailer and transform it. Okay, so we threw some sides on the trailer. We're gonna go pick up some mulch and get ready to compost. <laughs> 